Do you use Secure Shell SSH to connect to remote servers? Are you using the SSH command from the terminal? If so, I've got some tips to make your life better. The simplest way you typically connect is by running SSH on the command line and then specifying username at hostname and then you provide any other flags like the SSH key you want to use, the identity file with dash I. You can simplify this process by creating a config file in the .ssh directory of your home folder. For example, tilde slash .ssh slash config. In the SSH config file, you can create aliases for hosts and specify all the details like username, host, which SSH key to use, whether there's a proxy jump host, port number, server alive intervals, port forwarding, and more. I'm not going to go over all the options available here, but you can read more at devdungeon.com slash content slash SSH dash tips. You can also check the official SSH documentation for all of the options available. You can also run SSH by itself to get the list of options or use man SSH to get the manual pages for SSH for more details. What I really want to show you is this tiny program I wrote called ISSH. ISSH, for improved SSH, reads your SSH config file and then presents you a list of all the hosts in your config. Then you can simply choose the one you want from the server list and press enter. You can use the up and down arrows or you can use Vim-like key bindings to change your selection up and down or jump to the top and the bottom. You can press H to get a list of all the shortcuts. You can see that Q is the hotkey to quit and E is the hotkey to edit your SSH config file. To install ISSH, run python-m pip install ISSH. To run ISSH, just type ISSH into your command line. You can also invoke it with python-m ISSH which invokes the Python module. It is important to keep in mind you may have multiple versions of Python on your system. So using python-m pip install ISSH might have different results from python3-m pip install ISSH. Also keep in mind if you have any Python virtual environment activated it will also only install into your virtual environment instance and only be available when you have that virtual environment activated. You can try and figure out which version of Python is being run by using which Python in your terminal. And after you install ISSH, you can try which ISSH to see where the executables are located. If you get an error running the install command about permission denied, you may be trying to install it to the system-wide Python location where you'll need elevated privileges. You can either run sudo python-m pip install ISSH on Linux or Mac to elevate your privileges if you want to install it at the system level. In Windows, to raise your privileges, you'll have to right-click on your command prompt window and choose run as administrator. You also have the choice of running python-m pip install dash dash user ISSH. This will install it to your user's home directory instead of to the system-wide location. So this will eliminate any troubles you have with trying to elevate your permissions to install to the system-wide location. And it's good if you don't have admin access to install globally. The source code is also available at github.com slash devdungeon slash ISSH. You can review the code, you can install it from source, modify it, or even submit pull requests and feature requests if you have any ideas. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoy.